Hey guys, thanks for watching Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. I have a new dog here, a new client, who has um, found me because her dog has some uh, aggression issues. And it's not aggression, I don't know how to explain it, but I call biting aggression, okay? So, he is nervous, and honestly, as a golden retriever, it's very rare, to, very rare, but it will happen, um, finding a mean golden retriever. He's a golden retriever mix. They've had him for about one year, and they were told to get a trainer, so they did, and they went somewhere that they were very, very unhappy with because he became very aggressive coming back from that trainer, okay? So, I ask a lot of questions if you haven't noticed, and I do know all the business names. I just don't call them out. Um, it's up to the client who, it's up to the experience of that client to go report it on a review or whatever, right? It's not up to me to call those businesses out, okay? So I'm going to groom him. We're going to do a shave down. We're going to see how they like the shave down. This is our first shave down and he's shedding like crazy. So this will really help the shedding with them. And some of y'all are not going to like it. And that's okay. This is not your baby. This is their baby. And we want to eliminate the shedding for now. And we're going to do it this way. We're going to do it by shaving. We're going to see if he lets me. I'm actually petting him as I talk. He has, she, the mom told me that the dog has bitten or gone to bite, like not warning, but, you know, her neighbor came over. They watched movies and had, you know, uh, time hanging out. And the dog was all in her lap and, rub, and the, you know, she, the neighbor was rubbing the tummy on the dog for like the whole movie. And the dog gave her the paw, the paw to her, the woman. And before you knew it, he just snapped and bit her, you know. So it's an unpredictable uh, biting and it was in a calm environment so we just don't know why or what um, getting him on the table he gave me these looks and this kind of demeanor of uh, he could, 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 could go both ways so I put a muzzle on him first and then I got the groom loop up because he he was just very interestingly uh, giving me this energy okay so we're gonna do a shave down and I don't trust him so here we go and his mom is a teacher thank you teachers for what you do it's not easy and I know your pay should be hired <laughs> should be higher so thank you for being teachers and she gets a teacher discount okay here we go i'm going to attempt to get the dog up stand under him first okay so i tried to get the dog up i just kind of went like that and he gave me a little uh -huh. so i'm going to work the dog up stand later after i kind of get a better feel um or not I'm doing a 10 down, which I usually like to do seven reverse, but this will just, I'll just make this go a lot faster if I just do a 10 down. I'm gonna assume that he won't let us blow dry because of his demeanor, so I'm gonna try to take care of everything I can take care of. Before the bath. Gave me this such an interesting vibe, I didn't even get a chance to take the choker off, you know. So, just if you don't feel good about something, you just go with your gut, okay? I can see this sticking out, I'm just going to go for it with my tin. Just like scissoring it. What's sad is that if something happened when he was at the trainer, you know, and they... 
whatever kind of technique that they were using. That's sad. We don't know. Because he was fine prior to that. And then he just started really, really coming up, becoming very aggressive at home. I'm going to do everything I can here, but I really need him to stand up so I can see what I'm doing back right with the back. So the mom was like, Dee Dee, why don't we do, um, you know, she's learning too what, what she's wanting to do and what she might like or not like. She goes, why don't we do the bath and brush now and then do the summer cut in a couple months? And I was like, girl, you should do the summer cut now if you're going to do the summer cut at all. We're coming into March. It's about to get hot. Then the summer cut's done. You can ride out the whole summer, you know? And then one more cut before winter comes in and then ride out the whole winter. So that's my opinion. So that's what she decided to go ahead and do. Cost-wise, I would. that's how I would handle it. So we live in Texas and the summer cuts, man, they really, really help. Still using my tin. Okay, we kind of need to get him to stand up soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna hang my clippers up while I kind of maneuver him and stuff. Don't get, he can bite through the muzzle, so you need to be aware of that, okay? Just because you got a muzzle on doesn't mean, oh, you're good. No, you're not good, man. You are not good. They can totally bite through the muzzle. Okay, I got that off now. Pull up for me. Okay, now can I get you to stand up? Come on. So now if he's, since he's got so low, you know, I've got him so low, he has a lot of, he can actually hurt me um, if, if I do something he doesn't like. Okay. Okay, come on now. Can you stand up, man? I'm just like, how am I supposed to feel, put, approach him? Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to get up in your grill here, man. But I have to get you to stand. Come on, up, up, up. Can you stand up? Up, up, up. Woo! You're heavy, man. Up, up, up. <laughs> up, you gotta stand up, man. Okay, stay, do that then. I'm gonna get you to I'm gonna do this in steps. Are you guys watching this, man? This is, this dog's big, man. Up, up, up. <laughs> Okay, you gotta stand, man. Uh, 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 you got two feet here. He does not want to stand up. Okay, okay, buddy. Uh, I got this. I got it. I got it. Let me get this dog up, stand under there. You gotta stand up, man. Stand up, man. Okay, hold on, stay. Stand up, man. 
He's Stand up. On me. Huh? He's leaning on me. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll let you go. Okay. You're good, man. You got feet, man. Stand. You're good, man. No, stand up. It's crazy how he doesn't want to use stand. Okay, however I can get that into you here. Okay. Woo! Thanks, David. Okay, here we go. So if you're working by yourself, if it's an oh okay, if I wasn't if this what dog wasn't aggressive, I would have been okay. But if I'm since I'm having no trust for this animal, I'm glad I have a helper. If you didn't have a helper and you knew the dog was gonna be aggressive and you have the dog up stand, you have mom and dad help you get the dog on the dog up stand before they leave. Or at this point, you stop what you're doing, you call them and tell them to come back and help you groom the dog. Get the dog on the dog up stand so you can finish your grooming, okay? That's how you would definitely handle it. Because this is a big dog, and a big dog, we really shouldn't be there where I'm having to hold him up. No, man. This is a pretty heavy dog for a little person like me. And y'all other little people out there, I know you are know what I'm talking about. Picking him up uh, to go to the bath and stuff like that, I can actually do that. But to hold him without the dog up stand, the entire groom, that's a lot, that's too much on us, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about, you groomers out there. So if you don't have help, stop what you're doing, call mom and dad back and say, come on, I need you to pick, help me pick your dog up. Or have them help you before they leave, okay? To say, hang out here, I'm gonna call you back if I need your help. In the case of an aggressive dog that you don't really wanna handle all the way yet. You have to build that trust if you don't feel safe, especially if he's a, excuse me, if he's bipolar, which means he can be happy and then sad all at once, that's scary. You can't predict his, his call, man. I'm gonna come back after and do like where the dog up stand is, okay? I'm going to come down the legs with seven instead of the ten.
I'm going to do a seven down the top of the tail. I'm going to not, I'm going to try not to do a full shave of the tail, but there's so much hair. I'm going to go ahead and get it where it's, I'm going to probably do a two guard on the bottom. We'll see. But seven all the way down the strip of the top of the tail. Change your ten. Get mad, man. Okay, I'm actually going to come back and kind of do, you know, with the muzzle on, I'm going to do a four reverse guard. Down the ears. That full reverse is going to blend that real nice. Even all the way up in here, just blend all that in. Yeah. Move around the muzzle the best you can. That's all you can do. Yeah, there you go. So the last thing I'm going to do is work, to, because if I move that dog upstand and he does not let me get back there, I'm not going to be in a good position. So I'm changing out my blades again and doing a two guard underneath the tail.
getting my 40 now. We're going to come do the pads. Let's see how he does here. Are you alright, buddy? He does have dew claws in the back, so he, don't forget about those later when I do the nails. Here's the dog up stand. There you go. Change back to your tin now. I'm just going to do, instead of doing a lot of hand scissoring, I'm just going to go up with the tin and, and capture all that hair in between the toes. We're right behind the pads back here. Underneath the armpits, if you see some hanging around, go and go in at an angle. Okay, we're going to come try to do the toenail trim. I'm going to check my dew claws here first. This one barely has a nail sticking out of it. This one does have a nail sticking out of it. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Let me see this one. Good boy. Good boy. Let me see. Boy, let me see this one. Yeah, man. Good boy. Good boy. Let me see. Good boy. That one's ripped off. Yeah, I'm going to skip that one. Good boy. Yeah, man. Good boy. We're almost done with all this stuff. Don't get mad. Here we go, these do claws. Ear scissors. I know, right? I'm using my ear scissors now, just around here a little bit. Just 
some random stuff here. Little stuff's okay with my ear scissors. Okay, I'm actually going to take my Terminator and go through the hair. If you don't have a Terminator yet, you know, I'd love you to order them from me, right? Go to myfavoritegroomer.com, click shop here, then get your 40 blade out, okay? And come down with your 40. It's the same kind of concept, okay? So you're going to get just dead hair. Let me do this side so you can see. He's like, what's the camera doing, Dee Dee? Look at that hair right there. This is dead hair, okay? You still need, uh, with uh, like that double coat or uh, big dogs, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now, okay? You still need a de shed, okay? Look at all that. So if you didn't have a Furminator, use your 40 until you can get a Furminator. Furminator is an amazing tool, okay? So I'm actually, I have a 40, or I have a Furminator, so I'm gonna use it on here. Yeah. Look at all that. I'm not pushing too hard. I'm just going over everything. Look at all that. You can see it's not a perfect cut. I'm gonna ferminate it and then go over it with my tin one more time just in case he does not allow us to blow dry. And on our website, you can go to kits, and I have kits built for large dog, small dog, you know, just what you're trying to groom. And uh, look for it. I'm going to have a new groomer kit. It's going to come in like three or four stages so you know what to get to start. Those of you all shopping with me, Abby, Hawk, thank you so much. Your purchases mean so much to me. It's constantly shopping with me. I appreciate you more than you know. And I know you're watching, and I know you support me, and I can't thank you enough. Okay, well, that's a lot of hair. Now I'm gonna come back one more time. And this is a really popular brush, you guys. Uh, we've sold out a few times now. This is my large slicker brush, for those of you asking. There's two on my website, small and large. If you have a small dog, great, use it. If you're a groomer, get the large. It's the more, sp more slick slickers that you have on there, the more you can cover on an animal. So less brush time is what it comes down to. If you go with the large. Nice, isn't it? Came out nice after ferminating and then ferminating. Uh, ferminating the hair and then come back again. Wow, it's so pretty. And then brushing it kind of backwards for yourself, so. I kind of did fade down with the tin instead. Came back, fixed the tail a little bit. I'm not pushing very hard. You want to make sure there's not a lot of lines. Watch your face.
Okay, let's see how we do we're lowering this. Watch your clippers. Nice. All right, here we go. We did get a blow dry in there. I'm just going to go ever so lightly to even some stuff up. And David was actually able to act, uh, do the dental a toothbrush and uh, gel application. Go figure, man. It's awesome. Yeah, you're doing good, huh? I still am leery, because what you can't see or feel, or you can't see or feel is the energy right here. And there's just something, there's just something there that I don't trust him just yet. Maybe a couple more grooms. Yep. Thank you.
come back this way. Get your core guard. So soft, yeah, that shampoo's amazing. Where he likes it, man. Okay, let's see what we got left. I'm gonna sweep the table here and see if I can. We're still working on our camera stand. He's, he's almost got it fixed, I think. Can we see? Good. Let's see here. Good. Kind of letting him kind of give me his foot, too, right? <laughs> Are you giving me your foot? Hmm? Are you giving me your foot? Yeah? It's a good baby, yeah. I know you like that, right? Put your foot here. Okay. Stay there. I'm just sweep all this off. Use my shaper brush to brush all this hair between the feet up that I did not chisel off with my tin blade. I got most of it though, so that's good. Let me just kind of look around. Any stragglies? I did want to come up and do a couple things to the tail here. I'm going to come back with my seven on the bottom of the tail instead and shape it up just a little bit more. I'm going to do some leave and conditioner so that stays nice and soft. A little bit on the head here. Love the spray bottle. I love our shampoo. It's the Rainforest. So I'm going to do a little bit of Rainforest cologne there. Only one squirt is what you need.
I'm going to get a good view of the tail so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I did there. So we did how smooth the coat looks like that. Then uh, we did a seven down first, and then I did a four guard, but I ended up going ahead and taking it down, but we just did trimming, you know, so it still has uh, some hair there. This <laughs> tail still has some hair there, but it's not shaved to the bone, okay? Then we did a fade up here. It's gonna be a little, a couple lines there, but not bad, and it'll look good in about uh, three days. It'll fade in really nice. I'm gonna fix that right there. Have some lines here. Okay, we're gonna fit, tidy up some of this stuff. Mm, I got my tin back. I'm gonna do a couple of these lines back here. Let's go back over them. Go over them the other direction. Back, right and left. Go right and left over those lines. Come back, take this little piece of hair here. Put down the muzzle, or excuse me, the collar area. I'm actually gonna come do a seven down. Fading is taking all these different blades and going little by little until it all kind of blends together. Little by little up and down. I'm going to take my 10 with a 5 guard and go reverse this a tad where that 7 line is. Oh yeah, it's looking really nice. Oh yeah, that's looking nice, man. I'm gonna take my four guard and I'm gonna come down it. And reverse. Now I'm going to take my 40 on some of those lines up here and just kind of pull some of that hair out and maybe that will take some of those lines out for me. Not a lot, but enough. Oh yeah, looking good now. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Can I do it here? Right in between that bone there. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? Yeah, look at all that. Pretty. Looking pretty. Yeah. Okay, we're good to go. Thanks for watching DD Croy with my favorite groomer on YouTube. I'll be back in a little bit and uh, do some uh, little chit chatting. I have some stuff I want to talk about. So, watch the next video. We'll talk, we'll talk to you later. I think he's falling asleep back there. Are you falling asleep back there? He did great, right? No aggressive tendencies, and we'll see how the next one goes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for finding us. Talk to you.